Hello everybody, this is Joel aka Bourbon Dingo, and welcome to episode 36 of my second series on Let's Play Crusader Kings 2. Now during the last episode we started a war with England that is not going very well for us. Um, the problem is that it doesn't appear to be going very well for England either. We tried to catch them in the midst of a uh, revolt from Marrakesh, uh, but it didn't quite work out that well that way for us. And just recently, they've had a, a little revolt here in, in England. I would expect, with the amount of war they've had, that more people might dislike them and, and doing all that. But our number one problem currently is, and I'm loath to do this, is that we need to take care of what's going on up here. And with that, with needing to focus on England at the same time, we're running into some issues. So what I'm going to do is we're going to go ahead and just ask the King of England for a white piece. And I'm willing to lose the prestige for that white piece. Um, and what it does for us is it lets us keep that claim. But our king is far too old to actually be able to probably to reclaim, uh, restart this war in 10 years. But I am going to go ahead and do this. That way we can take care of what's going on up here. We're going to have that go through. And we currently have uh, allies that we can call in. And the Duke of Normandy may join us. There's a high likelihood he probably won't. But I'm going to go ahead and ask him for his help in the war that we currently have going up here. So I'm going to get the clock going at a normal speed. And we're going to wait for a response from England. And uh, Normandy says they'll join us. And the king of uh, England has agreed to a white peace. So we're no longer at war with the king of England. And that works really well for us because now we can focus simply on the war up here. And what I'm going to do in this instance is we're going to go ahead and just pull up my own soldiers. I'm going to see about getting them up there. And try to take care of these 4,000 troops that, have, that we have going on up here. And I may go ahead and turn around and purchase some mercenaries. In fact, I'm going to do that. I'm going to purchase some mercenaries to help us take care of this. Uh, not many. We'll pull up the 3,000 mercenaries. What this should do for us in general is we should be able to uh, should be able to clear out their soldiers. I was hoping that I'd get more people in there before this started happening. I thought I'd stop them short of that. Okay, that's fine. We've we've gone ahead and we've won that one um, barely. <laughs> Let's jump the speed up a little bit so they can get around to where they need to get to. And we're going to pull all of these guys together and send them into down here. Pause real fast. And it's a very small amount of soldiers that we currently have. And I've got a monthly balance of a positive 14. I'm going to try to speed up our victory here by purchasing a few more mercenaries. We're going to be hurting for money here before too long so I'm gonna need to watch closely um, do have an idle spy master is idle so let's go ahead and send her to study technology in Mortain and I don't want my son leading troops right now so we're gonna go ahead and tell him he can't be leading troops and just to I don't want him to fabricate claims either. Um, I want him to just start building some descent in England, I suppose. The general goal here is simply to take a few holdings away from the Duke of Lothian. 
One of our dukes likes us for... Or, sorry, one of our dukes is managing his realm very well. He's a just ruler. <clears throat> yeah, England was uh, putting forth a lot more troops than I was expecting them to, and I'm, I'm thinking that has to do with how rich in resources and troops these specific areas are. My granddaughter was in a fight, and we're going to go ahead and talk to her about kindness. I didn't see any pop-up for that, so... Oh, she retained Envious. And right now it appears that the little revolt that was occurring here basically fixed all the problems they were having. Because they're easily taking that area back from them. Alright, we have sieged the first area, and we still don't have a 10 to 1 ratio. I'm going to go ahead and toss him in the Oubliette. Uh, what I am going to do is we're going to go ahead and... Okay, we killed one of the mayors in the area. I'm going to go ahead and take care of the little sieging army they had around that. Alright, and we do have a 10 to 1 ratio here, so I'm going to go ahead and start an assault there. Alright, we now have a peace offer. I'm going to go ahead and accept that peace offer from them. We're going to get back almost as much prestige as we lost in uh, For White Peace. And we're actually not currently in any wars right now. I could join the... Uh, the Crusade, but I'm not going to right now. What we need to do is go ahead and get rid of that army. Uh, we had a duchess who had, we're going to go ahead and revoke the duchy from her. This is what we're going to do. We're basically going to go through and just start revoking duchies. Now she has two counties, and I could pull one of those counties away from her. I believe I'm just going to pull the duchy away from her. I'm heavily tempted to go ahead and take that minus 30 and just get rid of her. That way I could take both of those and divvy them out as I deem necessary. But I'm not going to. We are going to leave her, however, in prison. Alright, we're going to go ahead and he has a lot of different areas, right? He's both the Duke of Reged and the Duke of Cordoba. And he was not one of the ones that had uh, joined our fight. Huh. I wonder if I pull the Duchy of Chester away from him, if he'll remain the Duke of this area. He likely will. So we're going to pull this away from him. It'll take him longer to actually mount something if he decides he wants to uh, start the fight there. All right, uh, and this is the one that started it all. It's the number one reason we can't take that area from England that we want that we wanted to take. All right, and before we actually get any more any deeper into this, I want to go ahead and take a quick glance around. See if there's anybody I can release. We're going to go ahead and release him. That'll give us a, a bump for people liking us. Now what I'm going to do here is try to hand out some of these items we pulled from everyone. And so what we're going to probably need to do here is take a look at our court by rank and just start pulling up people like this who we can hand areas off to. Let's go ahead and make sure I can't actually set him up with a marriage beforehand. We can't set him up with any marriages 
ourselves just yet. So we're going to go ahead and let him choose his marriage. Um, we're going to give him the, the county of Strathern. Not sure where the county of Strathern is currently. It's one of these areas up here. We'll give him the county of Strathern. All right, now one of the problems that we did have is in doing that, we don't really have many more nobles. So I'm gonna go ahead and spend a little bit more money pulling some nobles in. And then we're gonna go back to handing out some of these areas. Okay, I believe that is all the areas we can hand out that aren't duchies. So in the instance of handing out possibly... Oh, I thought I had more duchies than that in total. Oh, because I have to give the duchies away to... See, we have one guy here who really does like us, but he controls all of these areas himself. He's a very powerful... one of my most powerful dukes most likely let's go ahead and find someone to give Okay, he's still the duke of this area so all of the areas we need to give away are going to be up here so in the instance of let's go ahead and pull up my your duchies and this will let me look around as you can see he is still the duke of Galloway because I just can't you know get rid of them. Um, so we need to find someone in this group that likes us. I'm going to go ahead and give it over to him. If we could ever finish taking England and get our empire, we could start handing out full kingdoms. Well, that's probably not the best of options. This is what I'd like to do. All right, she's currently in jail. We have a whole bunch of people here that just kind of dislike us in general. I wish I could find someone who is Welsh. Of course, the only person that was Welsh is Countess Eilut the Great here, who absolutely hates me. Um... So in this instance, again, I'm going to have to hand it over to someone who's going to hate me just for the option of hating me. This was a matrilineal marriage between my cousin and him, which means these children aren't... aren't worthwhile. I think I'm going to go ahead and... Ugh do this as much as I don't want to. He likes me, um, and I don't have a for foreign conqueror penalty with him, so that's that's good. I can handle that. What I do want to do here is try to find someone Welsh in this area. And I can't, so I just have to find which of these two don't quite hate me as much. And that's going to be Count Gilchrist here of Teviotdale. And it's the Duchy of Lothian along with the lower titles. And then we had the Duchy of Reged here who I believe it's only going to go to To the one person who actually has an area in it. Let's go ahead and make him a duke. Alright, and that should take care of our issue of having too many
Yeah. Alright, let's get the show back on the road here. Oh. Something interesting has occurred here. And I just clicked it off because I wasn't paying attention. No? Okay. Somebody's won one of the combats in this area. England, ah, England lost some area here, or somebody revolted from them. That's, that's what occurred there. Like I said, what I'm hoping for here is that, and for each of these, we're just going to toss them into the oubliette. Had they not revolted, we would have basically laid claim on the title for the Kingdom of England. Alright, as we let some time pass and take care of everything that it's just working on. We're going to go ahead and take a look and see what we can do here. And I have a couple of dukes here that I could try to imprison. His current issue is that he's excommunicated, so we're going to go ahead and just ask for his forgiveness. Uh, Duke Robert of is attempting to kill Macbeth Buchanan. Just ask him to end that plot. I'm not worried about that. King Somerset is attempting to kill Sinner Sinnerson. He's the Duke of Somerset. It's going to be both those areas there. And he's Scottish. He has a traditional marriage with a kinswoman, which means none of his children are of our dynasty. This could be something worth doing. Let's go ahead and attempt to imprison him for his crimes. And if we succeed, we succeed. If we don't, we did. So his next child will gain the throne here before too long. And I think I'm going to find out if I can just educate him myself. It says we can, so I'm going to go ahead and begin that education myself and see if I can't. Alright. There's been a successful crusade for Andalusia. And I am not sure what just happened here. Is it because it was a Teutonic Order victory, but I was the titular holder of the Kingdom of Andalusia, that I got it? Interesting. Okay. So we just gained a large, large portion of the Iberian Peninsula. In fact, large enough that I can begin creating a few dynasties here, or duchies, sorry. But we need to go ahead and hand off a lot of these areas that I'm currently holding. Hmm. Alright, what I'm going to do actually is I'm going to call this episode to sh short, uh, maybe a little bit early and take care of handing all of these areas off and when we come back I'll go ahead and just give you a brief overview of what I did but that's interesting I didn't even personally take invol involvement in that combat but alright I'll go ahead and let you guys go and thanks thanks for watching